What's up everybody? Mike from Top to the Mike here with another review. And now we're dipping into the Saw franchise. We're gonna take a little break from Scream and I'm gonna talk about a couple of the Saw movies and I'm gonna start with the original Saw. Stars Danny Glover, uh, Carrie Ellis, and it's just a really good movie. It's an original, uh, but not a big budget movie. Uh, it's about, it starts off with these two people in a, in a room, a, you know, abandoned room, and they're tied up to the leg. And it's a game. One's got to figure out, one's got to kill the other one. You've got Dr. Gordon, and you've got Adam, who's a photographer. Dr. Gordon Wall is the doctor. And you've got this one body in the middle of the whole place, which he probably killed himself. And we hear that on the tapes, it's a game. One's got to kill the other one to survive. And there's little tricks and plots and little things hidden, try to escape. So it's a really well done movie. It was a different movie than what it was, than what, what we were used to before. Uh, James Wan's a really good director and he just blew with that one. It's very low budget, but very effective, mostly in just one room. And you've got other people, like so you got Danny Glover as a police officer, and he's trying to find out that like, him and his partner are trying to are looking at these jigsaw killings. Like these, they're, they're not, he's not killing them, he's making them choose, you know, live or die. You choose your fate, pretty much. If you want to live, you'll fight to get out. And if, you'll, if, you, want, if you don't really care, then, well, you're not going to survive. Uh, it's very well done. I like the twist at the end, too. That's a really good twist. Uh, it's going to be one of my scene favorites, too. So now we're going to dip into... I'm going to talk real quick just about the scenes. Now, remember, there's seven of these movies. There's Saw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's the final chapter. Then they made Jigsaw. And then there's Spiral from the Book of Saw. And I think, if I remember correctly, there's a new one coming out this year, too. Um, all of them are intertwined together, except for Spiral and Jigsaw. But if you go from one to seven, happen in a little, I think, a span of, I'm not sure how many months, but it's really well done. Some of them are mixed up. You'll see when I talk about three and, uh, three and four are, are happening at the same time. It's kind of interesting. But back to this first one here. So now, uh, I'm just going to say two or three of the scenes that I enjoy in this. And, uh, well, two of them are traps. And then one is the ending. Uh, so... First one will be the uh, the reverse bear trap that uh, Amanda is in. Amanda, you'll know later on. Spoiler alert: you'll know that she ends up helping him out because she survives. So let's take a look at that trap. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. I want to play a game. <laughs> There you go. Like I said, like that's just I just imagine if it really happens. You see it happen later on. I'm not gonna say when, but you'll see it happen later on. You actually see the trap in its entirely. Uh, now the other thing I like is when the uh, when the cops find Jigsaw's place and they're out to try to get him. That was another scene I liked. Uh, so and then you see like all the traps. You see like how he learns. Like you, you see the lair. You see I think there's a trap in there too that he activates real quick. They try to help him. And then you see some outcomes of what happens to that. So check this out. Awake already, Jeff. I need more powerful tranquilizers next time. Now you'll make a choice. In 20 seconds, the life of this man will be ended. Shut up, get down here! Shut up! Please stop that thing! Sick of it! All right, and there you have it. And now the last thing I like about this movie is the ending, uh, how they go, you know, they, they, they go crazy, but it's all about a twist, right? Like, first of all, you've got a guy named Zepp who was a nurse at the hospital with Dr. Gordon. Uh, he's there and he's, he's in the trap too. He's in the game as well. Uh, his part of it is just, I think, to, uh, to torment the family because he's, he's got the wife and kids. And uh, at the end, he ends up making it there. And he gets killed by Adam. Adam wants to get out really badly. He's stressing out. Dr. Gordon says enough is enough because of the family. And he cuts his foot off. Now, when he cuts his foot off, he says he's going to come back for Adam to get some help. He leaves. And then you see 
Well, you see this. Key to that chain is in the bathtub. There you go. I think that's a really cool ending. You see the, the, like the man who is supposed to be dead on the floor. Get up. Tell him that the key to unlock his stuff was with him in the water. Then you see the then it goes back to the opening where that key flushed down the toilet. So he had the key all along. And he just says, game over. Slams the door. And that's how it ends. You don't see anything else. You don't see what happened. You see, well, you know that Zepp is get, got killed. And you know that... Adam is there, Adam killed him, but then Dr. Gordon escapes, minus the foot. Really, really cool movie, I like it. Little subtle, little subtle things in this movie, like you see Tobin Bell as, well, he's Jigsaw, and uh, John Kramer, but you see him just in the hospital, he's one of the patients, because he's got cancer, he's got an operable tumor, and he's, he's dying. But uh, if you look carefully, this picture right over here, it shows you the first, in the first, 20 minutes that he could be that he is jigsaw if you look at the little picture he's drawing he's drawing the bear trap it's, it's, it's kind of a little easter egg thing but he's drawing that bear trap that amanda's in and then later on one of the cops are in and later on his wife but yeah he's drawing that in the beginning so i think that's kind of cool uh i think it's really well made uh, i'm a big fan of the whole billy the puppet the jigsaw puppet that's kind of cool uh, it's kind of like, you know, like a little slim bullet and he's become, like I said, it's become one of the cult movies that everybody likes and people seem to watch them all one after another. And if you want, every time a new one came out, even me, I watched, started back the first one to go down to relieve, to re-see maybe things I missed. So all in all, the first one, classic, I give it a four out of five stars. Uh, I recommend watching it. I recommend the whole series. There's only, I think, one movie that I don't particularly like too much and I'm pretty sure I think it's, if I can remember... I'm still in the, in the midst of we watching them all right now, but I'm pretty sure it's seven. It's the last one that I don't like because it's all just pretty much murder, murder, murder. Everybody's killing everybody instead of being in the games, right? So that's just not part of how what Jigsaw was. He gave people the chance to survive. And if you don't want to survive, then you ain't surviving. So... Again, thank you very much for watching this, and thank you again. Last week was five years of Talk to the Mic out and about, plus my birthday too. So I just want to say thank you for everyone who watches this. Thank you for everyone who supports this and keep watching it. And if you got movies you want reviewed, you let me know. Now, I got one coming. This one's going to be coming out soon. Uh, next, uh, next one will be two and three. I'm going to do Saw 1, 2, and 3. And then I'll get back to the Screams with Scream with the rest of the Screams movies. And I've got a couple of fan films and a couple of interviews coming out. So, again... Thanks for watching. I'm Todd to the mic. Take care. Straight from the shadow of the right. Up, I'm about to take flight.